Legend of Total War here, and today we've got a Saving Your Disaster Battle playing as Slanesh, where we're going up against Miao Ying, and even though we've got a larger army than her, she's just bringing in the quality. The Sky Junk are very difficult to deal with because they can just wipe out multiple units of Marauders. Going into a big blob in this sort of situation here would be really bad. The combination of the Sky Junk and the infantry pressing on us constantly is going to make it very easy for them to recap points or to capture points away from us. Anyway, before we get into the battle here, I do want to do a few shout outs this week to other creators because Warhammer 3 didn't really do so well and there's a lot of a lot of really good content creators out there that are putting in a lot of hard work with Warhammer 3 that uh, you know it's just not really being seen right now. So I want to do a few shout outs. So today's shout out is going to go to Nerd Rage Fred. He does have a YouTube channel, this is it. It's only got 350 subs. He's primarily on Twitch, and you can definitely go check him out on Twitch to see some really good live streams. I actually check him out all the time, and I'm just lurking in his chat. Uh, but yeah, if you want to check out his YouTube channel, he's got a fair few good videos in here. I reckon he would make more YouTube videos if some of these actually did a bit better. But I, I don't think he does a very good job of actually promoting his YouTube channel. So I'm going to do it for him. So yeah, check out Nerd Rage Fred. He's got some really good videos in here. And also check him out on Twitch. I'm only going to put the link to his YouTube channel in the description. If you want to check him out on Twitch, you're going to have to actually, you know, type things into Google and figure that out yourself. But his channel is Nerd Rage Fred on Twitch. Highly recommend him. Anyway, let's focus on this now. So the map is quite large and there's loads of buildings that we can use as cover. Um, but the thing is, all of the all of the actual supply points are in fairly open areas, so we can't just sit on the supply areas and hope that the uh, the sky junk will run out of ammunition. We need to really micro quite hard on this. Now we also have the ability to seduce a unit. Now we could take two units of um, jade warriors, which yeah yeah that's all right. Or, I could take one unit of Jade Lancers, which will be a little bit cheaper for us. Um, but it will also deprive them of a speedy unit. And since I'm going to rely very heavily on speed, I'm going to deprive them of speed. So, I'm going to do that one instead. Now, we could have also taken the Grand Cannon, but I think I can take out their artillery quite easily. Uh, and I don't think it'll be that useful, apart from shooting down the Sky Junks. But then again, the Sky Junks will just be able to fire back and get rid of them anyway. So it'll just be a bit of a null trade. Anyway, let's jump in here and see what we can do. Now, the guy who sent in the email actually said that he didn't know if this was actually possible. Um, but we'll see. Because there's definitely ways you can look at this and think that, Oh yeah, it doesn't seem like it's that difficult. I mean, we outnumber them. I mean, I know the qualities on their side. Another thing to consider as well is Miao Ying is rank 36. That's pretty damn dangerous at this stage. She's got a lot of really good equipment. She's got the Bane Spear. I know I didn't show it, but um, she's got it. So, very dangerous. She'll kill off our heroes really quickly. We need to make sure they stay away from her. But the thing is with Miao Ying is that she has no capping potential. So, if we get rid of all of their infantry, then they can't cap any points, and then we just need to avoid and just let the towers kill them. Alright, let's reorganize this a bit. But yeah, bounce power was not horrible. Not horrible, but, you know, let's take it seriously. Alright, so I'm going to put all the Marauders back here, just for now. I'll tidy that up in a bit. I'm going to put you over here. I think what we should do is, like, come out this way. Oh... Uh, what if I just charge... Mm. Okay, what if this one... Because that's fire rain rockets. Because even just one shot into us could just do a ton of damage, right? Whereas if this one comes in from the flanks, they'll have to turn around and they'll probably derp out a fair bit. The Jade Lancers will be there a bit late, but that's okay. I'll bring this one over here as well. That way, they seem unlikely that they're going to try to shoot at this area here. The fire rain rockets just aren't good at that kind of stuff. So yeah, I'm going to try to just take this out straight away and then mess with them out this way a little bit. Hopefully that gets us a little bit of bounce power. Now the demonettes, I'm actually going to just run them out of the city. Their job is going to be to retake these positions after they're lost. I'm going to put a tower here. Uh, I don't expect it to hold out for... Actually, you know what? I'll do it in a different area. I think um, I think this one would actually be a little bit more... Uh... No, I'll put it back there. And I think this position here 
will probably get the most use, so I'll put that there. Okay, now let's move some of these things around. I'll keep you back for now. Alright, any unit with exp Actually, I can't remember which unit's part of the garrison or not. Let's just focus on winning. Um, but yeah, let's bring a shielded unit over here. Yeah, that one's shielded as well. Um, try to hug the walls there. Hug the, ter uh, the buildings here. Just so the fire rain rockets really just don't have a clear line of sight. And if anyone comes over into the into the capture points, we either just let them have it or we, we charge in there against them. Rather than just stay out here in the open fields and just get slaughtered. That wouldn't be very good. So we're really going to have to micro quite hard on this one, I think. Alright, let's get to it. Here we go. So it looks like they do want to shoot. They might just shoot their own troops. Maybe, maybe not. Cool, dodged them. That was the one and only shot you're going to get. Cool, disrupt them while the cavalry come around this way. Oh yeah, they got fire rain rockets though. Uh, yes, okay, maybe, maybe actually don't. Maybe, maybe you go in over this way by yourself. Yeah, these will get wrecked by the fire rain rockets. And not you, you go take out that grand cannon there. Yeah, we'll figure something out. And I tell you what, fire rain rockets are very fucking powerful. We're good, we're good. Come on, move, 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 move. We want to be cycle charging as much as possible with them. Uh, everything else is going fine at the moment. I did move them, didn't I? Yep, 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 that's fine. Okay, we're pretty chill at the moment. Okay, we got another tower we can build. Just build wherever. Yeah, that's it. Shoot in here. Nice. Okay, so this one here. Just slowly start making our way around here. Use the terrain as cover. Because, yeah, even though the fire rain rockets are primarily anti-infantry, they are still deadly against a uh, high entity number cavalry. So, like, 60 or, or um, around that number. Uh, where it's not so dangerous to seek a chariot. Which is why I didn't mind putting them in through here. Cool, that went went reasonably well there. We'll s okay, so that one's dealt with. Let me just see if we can actually take out the Sky Junk. That'd be awesome if we could manage that. Whoops. Uh, whoops. Okay, never mind. And these ones over here. Yeah, keep using the, the whip spell. That's pretty good. And they're kind of a strong... Okay, so while we could shoot at... Let me pause to explain this. Um, we could use the towers here to take out the Sky Junks. But keep in mind, Sky Junks have loads of health, and their effective damage dealing is 100% until they're actually destroyed or routed. So, it might be better to shoot at Grand Cannons to begin with, get rid of some of them, and it will also get rid of them quickly, because that's a worth about the same amount as a Sky Junk. The Sky Junk's definitely more of a threat, but we can take out that unit a lot easier. Now, as for the Sky Junk, eh, we're just going to have to suck it up, I think. Let's just deal with that one hit there first. And that seems to be going all right there. So yeah, the Demoness, they just wait out there for a little bit. Let's keep these in reserve for now. I'm sure I'll use them in a bit. And, yeah, the Chaos Furies are doing okay. Mm -hmm. Managing. This is a bit of a concern over here. So, yeah, see how they're just not getting any shots on us? That's destroyed two of the cannons. We don't need to actually destroy the crew, just get rid of the bloody cannons. The... What are you do? Oh my god, they get stuck on dead units. I have no idea what they're doing there. Okay, that's fine. Just one victory point. We got we got some more points that we could spend. And yeah, it's just having a hard time. Aim oh, I see what it's trying to do. That's okay. That's okay. Alright, um, actually, yeah, yeah, actually, destroy that now. Alright, get this one out of here. I think that one routed. Uh, then just send another unit 
Yeah, you stay back. Send another unit over here just to just one at a time. Alright, we're gonna need to keep our large units away from there. Okay, how about you two can come in here now, take that out. How are you doing? Yeah, you're doing okay. Because the Sky Junk has no melee capabilities, we are handling them just okay. Yeah, just watch out. Watch, watch it, watch it, watch it. Because those do tons of damage. And yeah, this is the whole reason we use the terrain there to our advantage. Right, right. But yeah, you can see how bloody long it takes them to do it. Uh, okay, we're, we should be okay to send the demonettes back in here. Oh, that hasn't even been captured yet. Maybe I should have built the tower there. It's too late now. So over here, this one here is just constantly under obstruction. Good, good, good. Has another one over there just shooting us. We, we're gonna take damage. We can't stop that. Oh, crap. No. This is working out okay here. Alright, charge in there. Let's get rid of the last of them. Should be fairly easy. Yeah, just don't send too many units in there at a time. Okay, let's pop that down on that one. That's fine. Good. Good, good. We won in that area. Okay, don't send them back in here just yet. Because we want to stay as far away from meowing as possible. If I just pause this for a moment, I forgot to show the Bane Spear, but the, it should have an ability that will show that she does actually have it. Yeah, it's in there somewhere. Well, you could. Mm, I don't know. Don't worry about it. Damage, oh, oh, weapon strength doesn't seem that high. I'm, not, I'm just not sure. Okay, good. Cleared them out. We're good over here. Yep, go take that out. Good pre chill moment. Still holding on to three points. They're shooting at us. Just try to use the obstructions to our advantage here. Uh, that's not good. Meow Ying pretty much goes straight away into dragon mode, which is just a lot harder to deal with. And you can see here, this one's just not going down yet. Okay, we're done here. And, oh my god, how long do you want to take to bloody get rid of this? If that one comes a little bit more over this way, we're in big trouble. We're fine for now, though. Okay. Alright, let's bring the cavalry over here to recap some points over this way. Jesus Christ, how long do you want to take to get rid of the sky junk? Well, at the very least, it's keeping it busy. Alright, we got a bunch of supply points. Let's build some towers. Just tier 1 towers will do. Slanish towers are very good. Okay. Yeah, she's going full dragon. Don't worry too much about wiping her out. I mean, the towers will do a good job on her, but I really want to get rid of this fucking bloody sky junk. Okay, it's another one over there. I, I might have to give up this area here. And come over this way. It's just because too many sky junks. Uh, Miao Ying. Nah. Nah. It, it's, it's, it's fine if they cap this. Oh... Recover some of uh, the supplies. Alright, you guys in position, get over here. Yeah, there's some 
stuff there to worry about. Alright, that is just a Jade Warrior. You two should have four. You should have no trouble dealing with that. You guys come around over this way. Bouncer power is even now, so that's... That's good. Ah, there it is. Bane Spear. Yeah. We want to avoid staying in big blobs with her. She's essentially a one-man doomstack at the moment. She has no ability to actually capture this position. So just avoid her as best we can. Uh, stay away from that. But it doesn't really matter too much if this one here gets shot by. Uh, you two can round over this way. But yeah, keep keep these two out of it. I don't need this position. Just 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 hold back. It's not worth recapping it at all, at all costs. Well, I may have destroyed those a little bit early, but that's okay. All right, do we? Okay, we've got uh, these supply points over here that we can build on. Yeah, just try to avoid her. The pangs of suffering. Oh, that already destroyed it. Okay. Thoughts in harmony. That one's only got one shot left. Get these ones out of there. Actually, no. Let's go in here and let's take out these ones. Good, they handle that just fine. Minimal damage. Good. Alright, now this position here is actually our strongest position. Just by using our mobility, we transfer our de defensive positions from one side of the map to the other. And look at this, They're, they gave up on it. I never should have destroyed it. Okay, fuck it. But then again, they may have given up trying to take it because it was of no value. Now just rebuild over there. Now that they've changed their priorities. Oh shit, even one shot in there will do a ton of damage. Just try to spread out a little bit. Oh yeah, what's going on over here? Is this done yet? Fuck's sake, come on. Hey, yeah, there's not much we can do about that. Bouncer power's improving, but Miao Ying could probably beat our entire army just by herself. Which is why we really need to use the towers to take her out. Well, at least that one's out of ammo. Well, out of well, almost out of ammo. How are we going here? Almost destroyed? Come on, man. Just keep them back. All right, recap this point. Just get back. We got we got all the points at the moment. Their ability to cap. Our positions is next to nothing now. Did they just get the... They did. They just got the army losses. But Miao Ying is actually unbreakable. So, how fast is she? 84. All right. What we need to do now is take all the infantry out of the arm, out of the city. Just take them all out. Good. You have to destroy it. Okay. We'll try to destroy the other ones as well. Because what we want to be doing is just running... Meowing around to get shot by towers. Yeah, some of them got stuck. Well, come on, come on. There we go. Okay, if we have a look here, we have one position that we can build a tower on. So this is probably where he had the most amount of difficulty dealing with Miao Ying. But yeah, we just because she has no ability to cap any points now, we just don't need the infantry. Just get them out of there because they can't do anything to her. We need to utilize our fast. Oh, you know what you should do? <laughs> Go and kill your own unit. So I'm gonna bring the Jade Lancer over here, which it did all right. Maybe I should have taken two units of infantry, but this was cheaper. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> oh, 
I wish they had a dude stuck there. Come on, come on, come on. Move with grace. I need to be bringing her back over this way to get shot by towers. So, does she have a lot of ward save? 35% missile resistance, that's it. I think the other one, other um, thing got away. Well, at least it managed to destroy one, so that's... It definitely did its worth. The, uh, it just took them such a long time to do it. So yeah, with all of them to stay out there. Because the only way that Miao Ying can win now is through the army losses. So we need to make it as difficult as possible for her to get that. Get her to chase units that she has just no ability to catch. This one's doomed. And what we can start doing is actually upgrading him to the max tier. Yeah, we'll eventually get her. It just, it just takes a while. Is she healing? Oh, I think she's got... She's got the thirst. Uh, where did this one go? Can we get wiped out? Because the thing is, if this one doesn't get wiped out, um, well then she just gets it back anyway. So yeah, we definitely need to avoid melee combat with her. She's just going to re keep regenerating. Hey, I'm over here. I'm over here. What is she doing? Trying to cap this point? Yeah, uh, she has no idea what to do. But yeah. <laughs> I'm probably going to give her back a bit of health, but we actually want this unit to get wiped out because it's, it's her troop. Just go and hide so she can't see us. That's it. Destroy your own unit. Well, she does have a maximum regen. If she goes back into human form, uh, she'll get another set of regen. And she just has no idea what to do now. So yeah, the trick to defeating a one one man or one woman doom stack is just to not engage them in the first place. Yeah, she can't do anything about it now. I don't think you can actually steal the Bane Spear. Yeah, she got the hunger. There it is. Honestly, the tier 4 tower is barely any better than the tier 1 tower. She's out for blood there, but she's almost gone. There we go. Cool. Definitely not an unwinnable battle, for sure. Took a lot of damage. It's all just because of Miao Ying. Oh, and the... Uh, and the uh, Sky Junk. They're very dangerous. But yeah, everything else was relatively easy to deal with. At least she's wounded now. Yeah, she's wounded. Cool. And no units got wiped out. Cool. Well, actually, we kind of wanted that one to get wiped out, but that's okay. And... We didn't steal that off her. We just gained it. That's not an amazing item. 
And what should we give you? You got heaps of devotees, so you don't need more of that. How would you like some replenishment so that you can actually take her out next time? Or take the last of them out. Yeah, definitely an unusual matchup. It's not every day you see a Cathay versus Slanesh battle, just because they're at opposite ends of the worlds to each other. Gotta even wonder, what are they, what are you, what are you doing there? Curious to see how the uh, soul race is going. So you're going after the souls, that's cool, it's up to you, and you're not in the lead, which is the problem. You've got the pox makers of... Oh, interesting. Um, yeah, so Nurgle's at the lead. You're at turn 124, okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, your campaign seems to be going okay. Um, being one behind is definitely not good, but, okay, one of the problems that you've got here is that the soul that they need to get is Cinch, and you've already got the Cinch one, so what are you going to do, go back into the realm of Cinch? How's he going for, the tome of yeah, fuck off, um, how are we going, oh, they just opened up now as well, so that means he's managed to obtain one every turn so far. <laughs> He's only got five settlements. You need to fucking kill him. Do not let him get another soul. You need to kill him now. He's only got five settlements. You gotta get rid of him. Like, he's so easy to get rid of. It's, I don't know what you're doing with non-aggression pact with him. Now you, got, you gotta focus on him now. Because the others are two souls until they get four. You don't want anybody to get to four souls. Or else you're gonna be dealing with undivided bloody demons. Which is... Way more difficult than the divided ones that come through the rifts. Yeah. Anyway, that's up to you. Anyway, we got through that battle there, which happened over here at Nongchang. No units were lost. Oh, you got no replenishment here either. Hmm. And you should have, yep, just enough movement there to beat that. And since they've only got four units, you should. Hmm. You should be able to win. My, oh, this is a um a disciple army as well. Right, 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 right. Okay, interesting. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something good. Don't forget to go check out Nerd Rage Fred. I'll see you guys another time. Later, fuckers. Bye.